Hey everyone, it's me Doomlink, and welcome back to Doomlink's Live Hunts. I wasn't initially intending on recording Monstander today. In fact, I went through a number of games in my head, as far as working out what I wanted to play. I guess I should say three, not a few. I mean a few, and, well, in other words, you've got a couple and then a few, as long as it's more than two, it's probably a few, but anyway, it's three. I don't want to make you think that I was going through, like, five or six games, but basically, what a great introduction, thank you, Doomlink. If you were confused, now you shouldn't be confused, because apparently I've gone to great lengths to prevent that. But anyway, I started off wanting to do Twilight Princess, and then I realised that I wasn't in the mood to do Twilight Princess. And then I thought that I'd do 3 Ultimate, and I went on 3 Ultimate, but it just didn't seem like it was going to work out. Again, the only room that was available was a room that Brandon was hosting. It's very unfortunate when a person who is on all the time and who always has a decent room going happens to be a complete idiot. So yeah, that person is not someone that I'm going to play with, so I can't really play 3 Ultimate at this stage. There weren't really any other rooms and I wasn't prepared to wait for another one. So, or, you know, create my own and then wait for it to eventually populate. Um, you can see that the lighting is violently shifting. It's going from one extreme to the next. I have done all I can to make it look as good as it can. If you can believe it, it can look worse than this. So, we'll see how things go. But either way, uh, I did eventually decide to do Generations Ultimate. First and foremost because it's the easiest mod standard for me to record, and second of all... Well... I guess what I was considering was that I haven't played this in a while. It's probably been like two months or something since I last came on this game. So yeah, let's go and get started, I suppose. I'll go and set up my chat. I do have some good beer today. It is one of the last... Well, I've got some of the last bottles of Eich Schlenkele that my particular bottle shop has stocked. I can't assume that any more will come. It is a seasonal beer from Europe, specifically Bavaria, I believe, in Germany. And, uh, well, I can show you it, but you probably won't be able to see all that much of it, because chroma key and all that. And it's also backwards. But yes, this is Eich Schlenkele Urbock which I have determined to be my favourite of the three that I had tried. The three being... Um, Marzen, Weizen, and Urbok. Urbok is the nicest one. It is the smokiest and the most flavoursome. And I very much like the flavour. It's actually fast becoming one of my favourite beers, to be completely honest. Hello, Autonomic. But yeah, I haven't had this since I was last doing Twilight Princess, I don't think. I was sort of intending for this to be a Twilight Princess beverage, but... I again realised that I wasn't in the mood to record that game today, so I'm not recording it. It has been poured into my smaller... Uh, whatever it is, West Fletter and Glass. Which again feels most appropriate for this beverage. This person really likes G-Rank. They've decided to name themselves G. For, yeah, so... Hub name, G-Rank Hunt, quest type, G-Rank Hunter, G. So, I suppose it must have been a little bit awkward for the first few hours of playing the game through low rank and high rank, but anyway. I don't know if I want to join. I It was the first room that I saw, so I think I'm going to go through the different rooms first. Got Baleful and Leon. Lots of high-ranked people these days, which I shouldn't be surprised by. Look at this, what the fuck. Again, it's a... If you're still playing the game now, you've probably played it for a while, and... As well as that, it's really easy to rank up, so I'm not surprised. Oh, Material Old Girl. That's one of the... I can't remember exactly what monsters they are. I know that they're hyper monsters, but... That was one of the villager requests that took me a while to unlock. It was very annoying. 
It had to do with me trying to guess... Grand Toka. Hey, Tank. But yeah, um... Glad that the whole villager request system is behind me at this point. Boneless snail. Okay. Uh, a censored four character word tape lobby. Hosted by a cat named Dingoose. I mean, why you, pe you people should just make it very clear that you're a cat lobby. Which means that I need to st stay well away from it. If it just said cat lobby, I wouldn't have even checked it. I would have just pretended that I hadn't seen it. Tacky doing hyper monsters turns any. This guy's probably Spanish. Why else would he have such aggressive punctuation in his hub name? Dark God. Um. All right, let's refresh and see what we've got now. Looks like I've missed out on that G room, which I think I can live with. Turns any with Jin doing Red Helm, Red Helm Five. No, I'm not doing high rank deviants. I'm certainly not joining the deviant turns room. Nana's gone. An event on the board. Snow Baron EX. Yes, yeah, sure. Haven't done Snow Baron in a while. I have done the EX quest before. It's not too difficult. If I'm remembering correctly, it takes place in the Yukanlos arena. That's my recollection of it. No, I didn't autonomic. I'm not sure what's going on here. Why are you waving? And, uh, maybe it was agreed that Pepe would not depart with these two, but why they are two manning an EX Snow Baron, I couldn't say. I would suggest that that is the level of desperation. Why didn't you just kick this guy? I mean, he's not able to join the quest. I mean, you've got two choices. Either you kick him, or you change quests. Really, that is what's happening here. But apparently there's a third choice. Two man, an EX monster. Why? It's fucking weird. Really fucking weird. There's no point us sitting in this room, Pepe. Let's move on. I mean, you can sit there and wait if you're that patient. It'll take them probably 20 minutes to get that done. Maybe, you know, just under 20, but still. It'll be more than 15. Especially considering that one of them's a cat. With that taken into consideration, definitely 20 minutes. Dark... What? You see, the four acting as an A is perfectly reasonable. I mean, that's a... That is a standard in... I guess numeric... Naming on the internet, but... The four does not work as an N. Sorry. Dark... A Aigle is really what it says. Dark Aigle. Yeah, sure. I've never seen someone fail so terribly at naming themselves. I probably have, but not in recent weeks. That's like, what is that? I feel sorry for you. You've actually put enough time into the game to hit Hunter Rank 624 and your... Your name is literally a failure. It can't be described in any other way. Got Nikki. Might join Nana. That's a good idea. Fuck no, Autonomic. God no. Shit. If that start, if that starts happening, then make sure that I'm doing all right, because there's something wrong. Drill task G1 to G5. I'm not opposed to it. It's just I don't. I want to be in a room that I can stay in. I'm not going to do more than one drill task, so I don't think I'm going to sit there and wait for people to join that room, do one quest, and then leave and look for another room. That doesn't sound like an appropriate use of my time. Erandil. Erendil? I don't actually know how to pronounce 
an E with an umlaut. So I'd better not even attempt it. Hyper Silver Rathalos wouldn't dream of it. Wilhelm V. You're still sitting in that fucking room with Red Helm V. You do realize why no one's joining, right? It is because you've got a high rank deviant on the quest board. Take it off. Fucking Solowood or something. Okay, um, Seregios with Contru Man. I've seen Contru Man before. That's the sort of name that sticks in one's mind. It's one of those rare situations where there is an abundance of choice, but a dearth of decent choice. <laughs> so. Hello, Ron Money. I summon Scully at this rate. Actually, no, that guy's HR 11. It could still be a fine room as long as they're doing G rank. I'm happy. Oh dear. Of course, by this point, I'd like to be in a hunt. That would be my preference, but it doesn't always work out that way. Let's organize our inventory a little bit. It's been a while since I've seen this inventory. Oh, seriously, guys. I'm just here to help, and you you don't even want it. Clearly. Re retry. I mean, really, the irony of the fact that I came into this game because I knew that I'd be able to get into a room, and then basically being unable to find a decent room is palpable. Charm runs, screams Vishude. At hunter rank 160. Oh. Well, apparently they're going full light bow gun team. Fair enough. Yes, Dark Sir. I am doing Generations Ultimate. I haven't played it recently, but... I don't mind coming on and playing it every now and again. Okay, I'll join the bloodbath room if they haven't departed without me. <laughs> without me, you know. How could they possibly depart without me? They must know that I'm here and that I'm going to arrive. Their hunt. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Their hunting experience revolves around my existence, even though they don't know who I am, where I am, or anything of that sort. Okay. Hey, Beta. Haven't seen you in a while, and it's good to see you again. Metroid with Legend. No. Farm Valstrax. Is it that hard to have a fucking... Do I have to make a room? Have we reached that point? I think we have. By the way, I did try to connect my wireless keyboard to the Switch, and it doesn't work. It's a bit sad when you can connect a wireless keyboard to a Nintendo Wii U and have it work without issue. And then you do the same for the Switch and it just doesn't work. What's that about? That's called going backwards, Nintendo. That, that is what that's called. Okay, um, G-Rank. Any HR minimum 60. A quest type. God, they don't even have like a... Actually, maybe not quest type objective. Here we go. Relaxed hunting? I'm so used to putting relaxed hunting, but they don't even have options like that in this game. Fuck! Went back too far. Who would have thought that making a room would be so painful? Okay, HR minimum 60. RDL, oh, okay. That'll do me. Yes indeed, I'm HR triple nine. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not playing the game as much anymore. I was playing it quite a lot during the last hundred hunter ranks. Because I wanted to get two triple nine as soon as possible. But yeah. Once I hit triple nine, I needed a bit of a break from the game. And from then on, as I said, I wouldn't be playing the game as frequently. And I haven't been. Oh, my inventory really does need some attention. So I'll fix that. 
It's very funny going through so many different Monster Hunter games and just getting used to your different inventory setups. I mean, it's not different, it's just, you know, what I physically have in the inventory is often slightly different. And just, well, I should say in the box. What, what I have in the box is slightly different, and then sometimes how I set up my inventory is slightly different, but this is about the same. The only real difference here in Generations Ultimate for my inventory setup is that I always carry Mega Dash Juice. This is the only game where I always have it. But as far as all this other stuff, that's how I always do it. I usually have it almost full. Which is fine in games where there is a field pouch. But even in games where there aren't field pouches, I seem to do just fine with like three or four slots open in my inventory. Apparently Dot... Oh no, never mind. I thought Dot had entered the hub, but actually I had brought the chat up, which had the most recent message of Dot having joined a room, but in actual fact it was me joining a room with Dot in it, which is written as Dot entered the hub, which is incredibly confusing, but anyway, that's what's going on there. If I can't get into a, or rather, if I can't get a group together, I might go hunting for rooms again, I don't know. Again, I've named the room G-Rank, but it is a turns room because there is no such thing as a, a non-turns room if you're not actually fighting a specific monster, so... No, I haven't watched the Elden Ring gameplay, and I don't intend to. You might not have been here when I said that I wasn't intending on doing so. Hello, Bruno. Bruno! Oh, look, who's running to the quest giver. He's almost falling over himself to post... I don't know, Adol Car or something like that. The quality of the quest that is about to be posted is going to be so low. Oh, hey, Beta. Good to see you. Um, we'll see what he posts. I'm under no obligation to do what he posts, but... Despite being so quick to run to the quest giver, he takes a while to actually post what he wants. Okay, we'll do that. I was expecting something really crap, but I'm willing to do Teostra. Am I excited for it? Yes. Now, I am excited for Elden Ring. But I don't feel the need to watch gameplay for it. Because it's an early build of the game, and I don't want to set expectations for what the full game's going to be, and then, yeah, I just don't feel a need to check it out. I mean, I saw the reveal trailer, and that was enough for me. Now I'll just wait to play the game myself. Um, Greatsword, I guess. I'm in the mood for Greatsword. We will bring Fatalis Legacy. Very good. But I wouldn't say that I'm giddy with excitement. I'm not bouncing in my chair and working up a sweat, going, I want to play it now. But, yeah, it'll be fun to play when it comes out. I'm bouncing in my chair, says Potato. Sleeve joined the room? I don't know. Did he, is it supposed to be a T rather than an M? What's going on with you? Okay, I was going to say, if he was going to pull the I'm going to post my own quest in spite of the fact that there is another one that everyone has agreed to do, then that would have been pretty funny. Break everybody, Teostra. I suppose this could be interpreted as... Hold on. Fuck. Moving everything. This could be... Stop moving the wrong thing! For the love of God! I mean, you guys know this is usually not a problem. This guy is basically saying something that can be interpreted as, you know, telling the Teostra to break everybody. Break everybody, Teostra! He's basically encouraging the Teostra to physically assault us. No, people don't usually do that, Potato, but it has happened before. And it's pretty funny. Especially when they get removed immediately from the room in question. Am I going to do more Demon Soul streams? Yeah. I will. But I just need to summon the will to do it. 
I just need a bit of a break from Demon Souls, that's all. I need to do more Dark Souls too. As in Dark Souls T double O, not Dark Souls number two. <laughs> Dark Souls number two will eventually be done on my channel, I just don't know when. I mean technically it has been done on my channel, but none of you have seen it. Um Teostro. We're going this way. I mean you can go that way as well. That's fine. I don't know which would be faster, but That might end up being faster, actually, because apparently it's taking me forever to actually get into this area, which will ultimately take me to the area that we have set as our destination. Just don't play Scholar of the First Sin. I actually do intend to play the original if I can. I've n the... The original version is what I've played on the channel so far, and the original version is what I will seek to play on the channel if I do record it. Just kind of hoping for a turnaround there. Thank you for the resub. Don't know what Bruno's pinging about. It feels incredibly strange to fight a monster that you're so used to fighting in second generation Monster Hunter. And then you go and fight the same monster here in fourth generation. It's such a strange feeling. And it gives you an appreciation for how things have been, ha have changed and improved as well. He's so more dynamic here. So much more dy dynamic. Speak, do link. If you can. But he is fundamentally the same fight as just they've added things and they're good additions. Oh, go away. Did you see that? What a load of crap. He had stopped running. His momentum had ceased. And I take full damage. Eat my ass, man. I have no need for that sort of crap. Oh, well, Teostro being easier here. Look, to be honest, I'd say the monster is harder in this game, but the, the game overall is easier here, if that makes any sense. I guess you could technically say attacks like that make Teostra harder as well. Like Harder in a practical sense, as in it feels harder. But... Finding a monster like Teostra in second generation Monster Hunter probably is harder than fighting this one. What I'd say is that he's just a better hunt here, because he doesn't just run around the whole time. In second gen, what's annoying about Teostra is the fact that he's literally just charging at you the whole time. He just won't stop. Whereas here, he's got a lot more to do. I think part of it is that his AI is just better at dealing with the team, so... Yeah, it was rather simplified in second generation, just, he just ran around. He'd do that, but without stopping. I really haven't been hitting the head as much as I'd like to be. Someone drop a trap. Hoping for a head flinch as well. That's really what that draw slash was about. There we go. Oh, I thought that was a head flinch. Damn it. That's not a head flinch, because that wasn't an attack on the head that caused the flinch. I just want that head flinch so that I can do good charges on the face while he's down, but that's not happening, clearly. I have to say that usually, like, the windows of opportunity that are presented in second gen one of them has been removed in this game because of the blast that's applied during one of his fire breathing maneuvers. So he he starts off with a bit of fire, I think, and then there's a blast aspect to it 
that prevents me from getting close to the face like I used to in second gen, if that makes any sense. Where did he go? Oh, he went that way for fuck's sake. I hate it when he does that. He never goes that way. Thank you, Bruno. Really, I'm not completely and utterly inept. It's just that he never really went that way in second gen. I mean, he did reach this area, just not from the previous one we were in. Anyway. I'm going to try and not constantly make comparisons. But yeah. Should be doing Moonbreaker here. Can you, for fuck's sake, sometimes... Hunter Arts are just not in any way responsive. I'm sure most of you have in encountered that. Okay. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen a single head flinch during this entire hunt, which is just wrong. It's totally wrong. Oh, here we go. Thank you for presenting your head like that. Breaking the horns would be appropriate. But I don't know if that's going to happen. I haven't really seen anyone hit the head except for me. <laughs> and I haven't really hit it much myself. I remember a quest host getting mad at everyone in a Valhazark hunt because nobody would drop a trap before we told him you can't trap Elder Dragons. Well, everyone has to learn eventually, don't they? I can't remember the first time I learned about that. Might have been... I don't know. I can't remember what monster it would have been. Might have been Lunastra or something back in Freedom Unite. Well, what would you have me do, really? What would you have me do? Couldn't have been worse timing than that. It's very rare that I'll get caught by that, though. To be completely honest, I might have been able to sheath and dive in that time, but... I was just so displeased with the timing of that that I just uh, I decided to take, to take it, apparently. What is my fire resistance? It is zero. Okay. I don't really want to drink a max potion or a cool drink. That is my protest, and that's the reason why. It's really weird that despite the fact that barely anyone was hitting the head, this thing is already dead. Which is just, it's completely contrary to Teostra in the older games. Totally different. No. Why would I do Scholar of the First Sin if I've already done the main Dark Souls 2? Why would I do that? I don't really see a need for that. It would be one or the other. I'll get my Teostra cards. That just felt like a terrible hunt for me. I could have done much better and... The head was left untouched for the most part. This guy has unfortunately gone for the Platinum Dawn, which is not as good of a sword and shield as the standard gold one. But it can be deceptive. You just assume, based on the rarity, that one's better than the other. And that's my fourth large Elder Dragon Gem. Very nice. I'm sure I'll still need them for something. It's just I don't really need much of anything at the moment. Um... I suppose it is a turns room, so I will 
encourage beta to post. And then hopefully we can all work out on our own without me needing to say anything what the order is for quest posting. <laughs> Platinum Dawn is fire, you're correct. The guys Hunter A- oh. Yeah, to be completely honest, I didn't even check to see what he had equipped. This guy... He needs some serious help. Like, serious help. Fire Sword and Shield. This thing's un unupgraded. 270 raw with 33 fire against the Teostra and we still killed it in that time. No one attacked the head. I mean, it just goes to show how weak Teostra is these days. In this generation of Monster Hunter. He's almost got no health. Pours off my fish. Well, you're out of here, Bruno. Bruno, for fuck's sake, man. I will readily admit that you really need quests completed for your benefit, but seriously, man, find a different room. I don't really want to hunt with that guy. His fire sword, of sh sword and shield would have been at least a little appropriate for this hunt, but God. we'll do charge blade. I haven't done charge blade in a while because I haven't played a game where charge blade exists for a while. Alright, Sarah Sediment, why not? Oh yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have known where the monster was if he hadn't pinged, so... He was really helping me out. Witcher has joined the room. Usually I'd set the HR minimum to 100, but I don't have to. I did it in the past because I just wanted to cut out some of the, some of the rabble. But I like having a, a room open for lower ranked people to join. What is going on? I suppose this is fine. I'm glad that he's made an attempt. It's better than Nessa. So maybe I shouldn't completely dismiss what he's done here, but still, it's not very good. He's almost got attack up medium. You know what, he's really, he's made a good effort, hasn't he? It's just not quite there, I guess it's the ta- uh, No, he's got a, a plus 10 expert talisman, which is about as good as you can get for a king talisman. I didn't even know that you could get plus 10 expert on a king talisman. That's news to me. Since when? Plus 10 expert on a king talisman? It's very odd. Anyway. Ugh. Pause off my fish. Apparently the client is fishing feline. Yes, I can imagine that a hyper Mizutsune would cause trouble if you were just trying to innocently fish in the Misty Peaks. Ugh. It's a windy day today, and while I was walking outside, I think I had every airborne particle in my immediate vicinity enter my eyes. Ugh. Which was really lovely. I enjoyed it a lot. Shut up. I'm just so used to having raw resistance. Sorry, Beta. The first thing I do when Beta joins the hunt is flinch her. Just need to get in the habit of aiming for the face here because uh, usually when I am fighting Mizutsune, I am using elemental weaponry. Specifically thunder. In which case, aiming for the front claws is actually a very good idea, due to the elemental weakness of the front claws, but the physical weakness of the front claws is non-existent, as far as I'm aware, so aiming for the face would be most appropriate. And there I am aiming for the claws. Ugh. 
And Witcher is gone. Goodbye. We've now been forced to three man and sleeve. Well, his his weapon and set don't really fill me with much confidence. But... Oh god! <laughs> that would have been a very nice flinch had I met. I did manage that. Here I am saying that would have been a very nice flinch, and it, it was a successful flinch, it's just unfortunately my camera didn't catch it. Because I saw the timing of my impact on that head, and I was thinking, God, that would be so nice if that impact succeeded in a flinch. That would have been much better from Vader's perspective. Because unfortunately I hit the face, and then, because my camera was facing in the opposite direction to where Mizutsune fell, he just disappeared off, off the camera. So, there you go. I'm actually trying to hit the face here, not the bloody claws, but... Whatever. Well, we don't know that his switch battery died. He might have just... disconnected from the internet. Hey. Did you witness that? That hitbox is revolting. Shout out. That's one of the worst hitboxes I've ever fucking seen in this particular era of Monster. To start with, nothing physically made contact with me, and second of all, the attack animation had concluded. Hey Pablo. Sadly I did actually die before. I got killed by a Teostra supernova for the first time in a long fucking time. Whoa. There's no need to, res you know, engage in vandalism. I can't fucking outrun that. I tried. There goes the tail. I would like to energy blade at some point, but I think I'll wait until my next round of full files. There goes sleeve. I'm assuming that the pronunciation is sleeve could be slev. Sounds a bit Slavic, I don't know. Good old slev. All right, let's go and carve that tail. I'm surprised that I remembered to do it. Usually when a monster leaves the area, I'm I'm so pursuant that I just forget that there might be something to gather or something to carve. I'm pretty sure that I start with purple with this, don't I? Yes, I do. I do not often use this charge blade, and I only recently made it, actually. Turns out that we didn't really pay attention to where Mizutsune went. I do love the look of the blade, though. Look how fucking cool that is. That is very cool. Oh, I can do Ripper Shield, but um, I almost don't want to now. Because I'm already in yellow. Actually, well, no. I will red shield that, and now I'll rip a shield. That's the way we want to do this. Please stay right where you are. Thank you. 
And now I will energy blade. He's hoping that I can make contact with the monster. I will wait for my opportunity. I mean, ideally I'd hit the face, but... I'd like to just ensure that I make contact with the monster, at least. There's no point trying to aim for the face and then fail, fail to hit the monster at all in so doing. nearly a problem. There goes Sleeve. Stay at camp, man. It's probably not your fault. You've probably got terrible defense, but if we fail this hunt because of you, it's not going to be a happy day for anyone. Really. I think I just got a damage threshold. Well, just a normal flinch, I guess. Oh. And Mizutsune is... Mizutsune is... on the move. Oh. I really am not used to being flinched by roars and I am sick of it. I can't handle it. I'm very concerned about Sleeve. I don't think he has a max potion. I really don't think he does, so he's probably in a position where he can be one shot. I admire his willingness to continue trying to contribute, but it would be better for both himself and us. It would be, it would be better for everyone if he stayed out of the hunt, I think. Oh, there you go. Well, that is a good old waste of time, as as we like to put it. That's all right. But yes. I mean, I technically got a, a Mizuts and a tail out of it or something, but yeah. No success for us today. Oh well. Purple Mizuts and a tail is what I got. It's special because it's purple. Okay, um. I will check Sleeve's defense. He was primarily responsible for failure. The sleeve doesn't want to return. <laughs> what is going on with these people in their armor sets? And Hunter Rank 62, this is completely and utterly intolerable. This is not okay. What the fuck are you doing? You've taken the time to make full Escadora in high rank. Only to just stick a fucking Thunderlord helm on your set. You don't have any skills. Even with a talisman you can't manage it. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to cycle through the hunters here. Can you guys help break? Here we go. 
Juvenator is coming online. I'm assuming he knows that I'm live. He may not know, but... See, I don't want to kick midnight in the middle of this person typing. He's asking if we can help break Valstrak's wings. Um, look, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't even want to respond to you. I'm sorry, I'm usually not this unfriendly, but I just want to try for different hunters at this point. There are only so many people in the community that I can, well, cycle through, but... Yes, you can join Juvenator. That would be great. Yeah, Sleeve was having a big problem. He was just... He had either curled up into the fetal position, or he was... Um, maybe considering what to do in life after that failure. Hello. Oh, I just created a villain, did I now? Yeah, I might have. I might have. Well, the person's innocently asking if we can help them with Valstrak, but... That set is just so not okay. <laughs> Words fail. Ugh. At this stage, I'm just waiting for a fourth. And that fourth person will decide what we hunt. Probably. Unless they don't have anything that, that they want to hunt. Unfortunately, in this community and in this game, because it is a function of the game to prevent people from seeing halls where a quest has been departed on. Um, we wouldn't be able to depart on a quest and expect to get a fourth person in the room during that time. If this were three ultimate, that wouldn't be a problem. But it is a problem here. Sad as it is. But... I'll give it another minute, and if no one joins, we will just three-man something. We're perfectly capable of doing that. I just want to at least assist someone in the community. Just not people with full Escadora minus one piece, which ends up being Thunderlord Zenoga, for a grand total of zero skills and fuck all in the, in the way of defense. And some would argue that those sorts of people are the most in need of help. <laughs> but there's a point where it, there is a point that you can reach where it's just too much for me. I'm just like, oh. yes, of course, Pablo. And that would be fine. But it seems we've got Alex in this room. Given that Alex is Hunter rank 693, we will do turns starting from Juvenator. So you can go and post Juvenator. Because Alex doesn't know that Beta's already had a turn. So we'll just start again. He'll be the last to have a turn. Oh dear. I'm hoping the lighting's alright. Again, there have been some pretty violent fluctuations. What the bloody hell's that? That's different again. What is it now, Bob? Seriously.
Sounds like a jigsaw or something. Possibly. I don't know what it is. Anyway. He must have quite a collection of power tools, that guy. I'm trying to work out what it is. It's not anything I think I've heard before. On that side of the fence. It's not a drill. It's definitely not a drill. I don't know what it is. Hyperzenoga is apparently what we're doing. Which I'm fine with. Oh, now he's got a drill out. Okay. No, actually, that's a circular saw. Anyway. I'll go hunting one. I'll try and stop drawing attention to Bob's power tool usage. But it is incredibly annoying. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have the very ugly Blangonga hunting horn. As a nice hunting horn of choice. Again, very ugly, but quite functional. The stats of Alex, for fuck's sake. Well, we'll wait. Uh, we'll wait for about. Yeah. Uh, we'll wait for like 60 seconds for a fourth. If that person doesn't come, we will three-man this quest, and I will set up a different weapon type, because I don't want to use a hunting horn when only two people can reap the benefits of it. Your goal is HR 700 today. Well, you should be able to manage that. Fucking stop. Every fucking day of my life you have to whip something out and just... Honestly, drive me insane. Brrr. The things that I would do to that man. Hang him upside down from his feet in a fucking drain pipe. And he can drown in sewage or something. Beta's got insurance. How about Gunlands? That could be fun. We'll do Elemental Gunlands, and I'll use whatever... Hmm, Ice Gunlands, what would that be? Uh, Zamtrios. Megalomincer. Let's mince some Zenoga, shall we? Oh, okay. Juvenator is changing his equipment, I can assume. Did I eat? No. Let's do that. I do love my shoulders with this armor set. They're just totally unrealistic. And unreasonable. I don't know what realistic is supposed to mean. You, you'd technically be able to wear that. But it's... If you compare that to the... The best thing to do is to look at the size of the man's head. And then imagine that on an actual human being. I mean, that is... That's pretty extreme. Those are some serious shoulder spikes. <laughs> if you say so, Juvenator. But I think the context makes it very clear as to what I'm referring to. We now have Senshi in the room. Which, as I understand it, translates to warrior. Or fighter. Probably closer to fighter. If the quest is changed, by the way, I might lose my mind. I'm just giving you some forewarning. <laughs> Alright. Very good.
I'm telling you, Bob does know when I go live. He knows. Because... He very rarely does anything when I'm not recording. It's always when I go live. And I hate it. I truly hate it. Off we go. Hyper Zenoga. I suppose it's one good thing about returning to this game. I can fight hyper monsters. It's not like I can fight hyper monsters anywhere else, so I may as well do something that is unique to this game when I'm here. But yeah, um, I don't miss them. <laughs> when I'm playing the other games, I'm not sitting there going, oh, I wish this was hyper. But it is what it is. This is the end game of Generations Ultimate, so I suppose it's fine. I don't have an issue with hyper monsters, I really don't, it's just I don't care for them either. There are some people who really didn't like hyper monsters when they were first introduced. They really took an issue with hyper monsters and how they worked. I will admit they're kind of lazy in concept, but they're a bit of a challenge, which is not bad. I was keeping my shield raised because I knew that that was just going to be too dangerous to not shield. Especially with the limited mobility of this gun lens. Unfortunately, we're not even an hour into this livestream. I mean, if we were close to... if Let's say, for instance, we were an hour and 40 minutes in, I would stop the livestream shy of two hours just because of this dickhead with his fucking power tool. But I'm not even an hour in. So... I'm kind of stuck with this shit. There's not much I can do. There's really not much I can do. I mean, every time I go live, I just have to cross my fingers that nothing truly disruptive takes place outside, but... Sometimes... My luck is not on my side. Oh my gosh. If it does persist, I will stop. I swear to you. And I'm quite happy to resume later on. In other words, I would stitch together two live streams for one board. That is what I would do. A little inconvenient for those watching live and playing, but unfortunately, I can only do as well as what I've been dealt. If that makes any sense. I feel very out of sorts using a gun lance against a Zenoga. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> well, it's not early in the morning. It's almost midday. Oops. Probably shouldn't have reloaded at that time. Jeez, he moves fast. I can't even catch up to him. I do wish that there was some sort of burning effect on the monster to indicate where you've made contact with them with a shell. That again was something that was present in second gen, but they got rid of that. And I think it's really dumb, I mean, what's so hard about marking the point where you've hit the monster using a burning visual effect? If they could do it in the first place, then why... why not now? It's a step backward. Because again, there's like this visual indication that you've dealt damage, but if there's no visual indication, then you're not really sure that you're doing anything. There we go. See if you can flinch with the attack, yeah, you've gotten some sort of... You have been given a reassurance that you're dealing damage, but if you don't flinch the monster, then it's... A bit confusing. I'm in the position to do a wyvern fire when it is 
convenient for me to do so. I got it off, but it didn't seem to affect him. It would have dealt damage, but yeah. Didn't do much to him by the looks of it. Well, you know what I mean. He didn't flinch, he didn't howl in pain, none of that. None of that. How do you fix your Joy-Cons constantly disconnecting? Um... I don't, well, I can only assume that they're low on charge if they are not. If they are fully charged and they're constantly disconnecting. I don't know what your solution would be. Unfortunately, I don't have much experience with using Joy-Cons. I have used them, but I haven't run into that issue. Maybe if I used them more, I would have run into that issue and troubleshot it myself. Troubleshot it. Troubleshooted it. My it doesn't sound right to say troubleshooted. I would have engaged in troubleshooting in the past. How do I run into this? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Actually, I could have blast dashed that. God damn it. He just cancelled out of what he was doing just to hit me. Oh, thank you for that. It was both helpful and unhelpful all in the one action. That's probably going to hurt. For the Zenoga. Referring to those shells, those charged shells. Do I have artillery on this? Yes, I do. So yeah, that'd be some pretty good damage. And I'll blast dash into a heavy shot. And possibly if I can... Sorry if I mess anyone up. I really don't want to. I think I'm going to mess two people up. Oh. And then move into a Wyvern fire, which I can do. There you go. I'd like to do some Dragon Blast as well, but I don't want to be overzealous. Actually, I can Blast Dash again. That I certainly can do. And then Dragon Blast. Here we go. This is going to be a dead Zenoga. It has to be. Unless I'm slightly out of range with that. Yes, I think you guys can appreciate that this will be the last hunt for this particular livestream. What? You're not limping? What's going on? But yes, uh, you will be able to perfectly appreciate why this will be the last recording that I do. Or excuse me, the last hunt that I do in this livestream. Because that is just so disruptive that it's not appropriate. <laughs> so I must stop. Doesn't matter what I feel like doing, I can't continue. making sure that I am in a position to shield that. I was trying to go in between them, but unfortunately it curved and hit me. If I can bend it like Beckham over here. That was a weird reference. Yes, uh, you have made it in for the last hunt. Because I have a very inconsiderate man with his power tool next door. It is intermittent, but when it does... When it goes, it goes. And it's fucking crap. So, there you go. I can't believe this thing's still alive. I feel like I've absolutely... Thank you. I feel like I've absolutely unloaded on this monster, literally. It's very rare that I will shoot my gun lance so much that I'm constantly in the upper part of the red gauge. That is uncommon. 
but that's what happened. I suppose more than anything, it makes it very clear just how much more health a hyper monster has compared to your average monster. Got some moofers here. Nobody would harm a moofer. Well, some people would because they're sick in the head. But... So cute. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Don't harm the thing. What's wrong with you? You people are sick. I don't even have words for that. Attacking Mufa. I don't know if it's Mufa or Mufas, but whatever. Hello, Exia. And hello, Kodoku. And there is a great temptation to continue. I don't want to finish now. I have no desire to finish now, but if... If that drilling persists, then I really have no choice. Can I just hope that he doesn't do it anymore? Is it safe to hope that? I guess it is. Uh, I'll continue. But I really... I really hope it doesn't continue. I will continue, but I hope that doesn't persist, is what I mean. Okay. Um, Beta's turn. I got a golden ticket. I'm not going to break out into song. But... I do have a golden ticket. I'm so used to always grabbing Exchanger when I see it, but again, I have no need for it now. Not in this game. Crimson Glow. Crimson Glow Valstrax. Fucking Crimson Glow Teostra. So stupid. Trial by a Cantor. Very well. What would be fun? Insect Glaive. I don't know why, but Insect Glaive feels like it would be a fun choice. I will bring True Fatalis Dios? Dios? I don't know how to pronounce that. Dios. Dios. I guess it's Dios. I'm not familiar with the word. It's probably a word. Or it could be the translators being creative, which they have a tendency to do. But it's probably a word. What am I drinking today? It is Eichschlenkeler Urbock, which is a very, very nice beer. It's a seasonal beer from Bavaria. And I like it very much, which I have already said, but I am impressing upon you my adulation and adoration of the beer. Um, Beta has had too much. <laughs> Far too much. Insurance and exchanger. Well, there you go. Nicely done. How tall am I? I've never... You have to believe me when I say I haven't measured myself since I was like 13. But I'm quite sure that I'm 5'11". I'm either 5'11 or slightly taller than that. So about 180 centimeters or more. But not much more.
But yeah, I haven't really measured my height, nor have I weighed myself. I don't know why, I've just never felt the need. But based on my height in relation to people who know their height, I'm about 5'11". get a bit of health back, which is rather appropriate, given the fact that I did lose a little bit of it. Oh, can you stop running around? This is a very appropriate location for a Cantor to be in, though. This is probably the most appropriate battleground for a Cantor in the entire series, because he's actually got space to run around, whereas in the others, he just doesn't. I mean, in the second gen... Oh my god, I'm stuck. Ugh, barely fucking survived that. Still got hit by it though because it lasts for so damn long. But um, yeah, the second gen location that was just the old volcano, one of the areas from the old vo volcano in first gen, but turned into an arena. And then the one from Portable Third, which was only in Portable Third, it did not return. It was in literally one game. Uh, that was appropriate, but not as good as this. This feels like he's got a lot of space. It's really interesting because the Akantor and Ukanlos locations of Portable Third were unique to that game, but for some reason they brought back the Ukanlos location, but not the Akantor one. I don't know what it was about the Akantor location that they just didn't want to bring back, but they haven't. I was pretty happy with the unique Ukanlos location of Freedom Unite though. That was quite well done, all things considered. Come on. Can't believe I missed my red. I'm not going to need my colours for much longer though, I almost have Extract Hunter. This is one of those monsters where you'd be pretty hard pressed to miss Extract Hunter. I mean, you can easily miss if you intended to, but if you if you were not intending to miss, you shouldn't miss. That is the point. Unless you've done something really dumb. Thank you. I might go for some mounts, why not? Feel like it's four ultimate all over again. That's some mount spam for you. Four ultimate star. Mounting his big back spike. Unfortunately, my sharpness levels aren't amazing right now. Ideally, when you have the best opportunity to attack, you have better sharpness than that, but it's alright, it's not like I was doing no damage. I thought I was 6-2. Well, I'm not, I'm definitely not 6-2. And I don't think I'd want to be that tall. I'm quite happy with my height. I don't want to be super tall and I don't want to be short. I definitely don't want to be short. Being short's no fun. But I don't want to be really tall either. I'm very happy with my height. Alright, Extract Hunter. Well, there's not much I can do, is there? I'm stuck in the damn animation. Oh dear. I'm a manlet. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Exia. You're only 169 centimeters. Well, radio. Right 
That should be another dragon breath. Yeah, it is. I don't want to go towards the face. I've definitely... Oh, no. Well. It was fun while it lasted, I guess. This is the problem. Like, I've got no idea whether it's going to continue or not, and for how long. Please don't. I should be able to take the hit. Yeah. Fortunately, I was able to take it. Ideally, you don't put yourself in a situation where you have to take it, but... Yeah, at least I had just healed before it came. I was prioritizing healing, which was precisely why I was in a compromising position now, but... Still. That wasn't too great. Nope. Now, if you wonder why I never use Swarm, I don't have anything against Swarm, it's just I don't care about it. Well, I had defense down, so there was just... This. All I could have done there was sheathe and dive. That really was my only choice. But that's not what came to mind in that moment. Some quest complete. I guess that's the back spice. I don't know if I want to... In fact, I won't. I won't consume a max potion. But yeah, the defense down capabilities of a Cantor are pretty much the only thing that makes a Cantor harder than Ucarnos. This will be the last recording, guys. Or the last hunt, sorry. Why do I keep saying the last recording? Like, I'm never going to record anything ever again because of this power tool in the background. No, this is the last hunt of the recording. I thought that I'd give it a try, but it's not working. So, we have to finish at this point. Um, I will actually make it into a two-part VOD. So, my live recording now will be the first part of a longer VOD, which will be uploaded to YouTube. That is the plan. Oh, no damage from... Juvenator. Nice work. <laughs> the objective is to not take a hit, honestly. If you're gunning, anyway. Got a big open mouth in there. Open wide. Do a dental inspection. go on a bit of an adventure inside the monster. Yeah. Well, it's not about hurting my ears. It's not like stopping the recording is going to stop him from doing it. But... I have a certain standard. And this is below that standard, and I hope you can all appreciate that. I don't want to continue a recording or a live stream where that's going on. That's... That's negative 20 dB of straight up background noise. You know, if I wanted to do a live stream on a construction site, I'd fucking do that. I'm not going to continue with a substandard fucking live stream setup. Okay. I do thank you all for watching the live stream as it is live now. Uh, the VOD viewers will be treated to a second live stream, uh, basically included in the one VOD. But uh, for the live viewers, I am heading off, and I do thank you all for watching. Maybe I'll continue the recording later on today. Maybe it will be tomorrow. We will have to see. But in the meantime, I bid you all farewell. Bye bye. Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and I suppose a full introduction is at this stage unnecessary. This is going to be part of the same VOD as the previous livestream, and indeed as far as what is going to be written in the title of the livestream while I'm live, it will be part 100 and whatever it is. I don't know what part it is, doesn't matter. The point of the matter is that it will be the same as the previous livestream because this is essentially part 2 of the same livestream. 
hopefully that keyboard doesn't drop or anything like that. I am almost entirely reliant on natural light at the moment for the reason that it has been pretty bright. I'm going to hope that there are no violent fluctuations in regards to the lighting and on top of that I'm going to pray that there is no excessive background noise along the lines of what forced the cancellation of the previous recording. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Well, it's now getting much brighter. Not much brighter than that, please. That will do, I think. Um, anyway. Let's get started. Straight away. Recon... No, not friend list. We want to connect to the online. We will find a room. This particular live stream should only be between 30 minutes to an hour in length. We'll just see what happens. It depends on how much fun I'm having. There's nothing wrong with a live stream all up. In other words, a VOD that's over two hours in length. I don't have that as a maximum. I have that as a minimum. But sometimes I don't want to go for more than that. So yeah, we'll just have to see how things go. I don't know exactly how long my f how long the first half was. I think it was maybe an hour and 20, something like that. Yes, again, the previous one was cancelled. Well, not cancelled, I suppose, uh, put on hold due to excessive background noise. So, yes, I am back for that reason. Uh, the Guild with Legend. So legendary that I have never before heard his name. Mizuki with the Hylian set? I can only assume that he means the Link set from Legend of Zelda. He is no doubt doing the Legend of Zelda Kushala Deora event quest, which I don't really intend to do. Oh no, we're not talking about birds, we're talking about power tools, although birds are also, they also fit into background noise that I have to deal with on an almost daily basis. The birds have actually started to shut the hell up, which has been pleasant. Garp. Garp is one of the, what is it, 72 demons or something like that? Anyway. I don't like seeing that name, I don't like those names. <laughs> For various reasons. Moga, I can only assume, is a reference to Moga Village. I seem to comment... Oh, here we go. HR20... Here we go. Tech, I need you to screenshot this one. This is going to be a little bit of a, a one-up for the HR215 meme for Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. How about Hunter Rank 28201? That's a little bit better, I think. So... Yeah, this isn't the first time that I've run into this, but yeah, I'd say that uh, if you want to know exactly what causes it, it's actually not someone cheating as far as I'm aware. It could be the result of cheating, but the cheat doesn't, doesn't actually relate in any way to the huntering. It has everything to do with the search function failing to fetch accurate information about the room information or the host. So, yeah, that's basically what's going on there. So, there you go. There's a good screenshot for you. <laughs> this game's broken, I'm telling you. They're actually not cheating. It's not... They're not actually HR 28,000 and 25,000. They're probably HR 282 and 259. That's probably what's going on here. But yeah, I'm not sure what actually causes that. I don't maybe they're not cheating at all. My suggestion was that their cheats had somehow messed with the the search function, but I don't think that's what it is. Maybe it's just it could be a message that's sent, or it could actually have nothing to do with what they've done. It might just be the search function being complete crap. So there you go. I don't intend to hunt with them either way. But faggot X. Let's join Faggot X. <laughs> what kind of room name is that? 
Any room that's named very strangely, I will join. So, let's see what's going on in Faggot X. We've got Pelin. I think the other guy left. I don't know why you would. It seems like a great room to be in. Well... I will admit, if nothing goes on, like if absolutely nothing takes place in this room, in the next 60 seconds, I will follow suit. I will leave the room in search of greener pastures. But yeah. This isn't even the person who made the room, which doesn't bode well for the future of activity taking place in the room. Wuzh joined the room, which is great. And Chinese guy with HR999 as his hunter rank. And Wuzh. He didn't even wait to see if anything was going on. He's out of here. Yeah, so the Mulsana Generation's ultimate search function is glitched out. And one of the glitches that takes place, like... I don't know why, but it adds extra digits to the hunter rank. And it's pretty funny. I'm sure there's some sort of reason behind it, but yeah. It's very odd. It's definitely not the first time I've seen it, though. That's the point. Uh, I don't know why, but my... My crop for the game is a bit off. Oh, I see why. I had two crops enabled. I had my Switch crop and my Japanese GameCube crop enabled, which was a bit weird, but anyway. That's probably been affecting my three ultimate recordings, because I think that was enabled this entire time. Anyway, it looks like Pelin has, or Pelin, I don't know how to say his name, doesn't really matter. He has posted Thunderlord EX. Okay, well it looks like we're getting a pretty good team together to do Thunderlord EX. I'm perfectly content to do the quest if we've got a good team to do it. If it's a crap team, then I'm not going to go ahead with it because my expectation will be failure. And that's not a good start. If you're expecting to fail, then... Yeah. It's good to start at the very least with a positive outlook. I will bring this up. Will I? No, I'll probably change to Adapt. Mainly because I'm not confident with Thunderlord Zenoga. I will use this set to learn an EX hunt. Adapt Light Pierce. This is one of the few exceptions to the rule that stipulates that I shall not use any style that is not gourmet. That is not gourmet. That... <laughs> Gourmet Basher appeared on the screen, that's why. Um, that is not Guild. And the only other exception to that is using Striker Style for Lance. I actually don't need that. I'd like Moxie, if possible. There we go. And I can be a cool cat at the same time. Two birds with one stone. Because, uh, you know, being cool was definitely one of my objectives as well. So between the previous recording and this one, I did polish off the two Echtschlenkeler beers that I had purchased, because I, you know, I had them and I couldn't savour them. I had to drink them, partially because they were going to lose their cool temperature as well, but especially because I really wanted to consume them, so I consumed them. I'm two beers down, I do have whiskey. I finished that tequila that I was drinking before, the one with the dead scorpion in it. Um, that one's finished, I can show you the, can show you the empty bottle with the dead scorpion in it. There it is. Uh, hold on. Don't know if you can see it, but... There's a dead scorpion in there. So, 
that's empty. And... Yeah, oh, Demon Affinity. I need to do that for the team. No body leave. Okay. Very good. I'm glad that I took care of that at least. Oh, come on. I was hoping to do a reload cancel. Well, not reload cancel, but rather reload into the next area. Whoa, the, sensi oh, the sensitivity of aiming is so wrong. I've talked about this before, but going from this generation to the earlier generations is very, very difficult when it comes to aiming with the bow gun because the sensitivity is very, very high in fourth generation. Now, going backwards in sensitivity is difficult. But going forwards is not that easy either. Not very much a fan. In other words, the best way to achieve the best accuracy with gunning is to get used to whatever sensitivity you're using. But because this is not a first-person shooter game, you don't have options for aiming sensitivity. It's just not something that Capcom decided to implement. Which is a shame, but... Yeah. Looks like Pelin's going to be doing the wake-up. I don't mind... Don't... Don't... I don't need some dickhead with a fucking pierce bow doing the wake up. That's not helpful. Because you have to understand that pierce ammunition deals composite damage, which is to say it's not one damaging hit, it's many hits that together produce lots of damage, which means that you're getting a triple multiplier on an attack that isn't very strong on its own. So, in other words, it would have been better to have the bomb be the wake-up. You only get the damage off one bomb, it's not like all the bombs have their damage multiplied, but the point is that that would have been better. <laughs> anyway. Not many people know about it, I guess. Now, ideally, my slicing shots will take effect on the head, but that requires that I aim them accurately. I barely know what the monster's doing, so if I evade incorrectly, then don't be too surprised. I've definitely fought Thunderlord before, but not enough times to have internalize the process that goes into hunting this monster successfully. This guy could stop walking in front of me when I'm trying to shoot slicing shots, because if he body blocks it on my screen, it's not going to hit the monster, obviously. Only slicing shots are resistant to body blocking from hunters. For the reason that they are piercing shots. I don't know why Dot is sending an ellipsis in the chat. I don't know what that is supposed to communicate. Obviously some sort of disapproval of whatever is happening, but... I don't think it's achieved anything. Well, there you go. If you have some disapproval to communicate to the team, now would be the time to express it because I don't think you're very impressed about that turn of events, Mr. Dot. Oh, maybe maybe that's the joke. Maybe the joke is that his name is Dot and he sends an ellipsis in the chat. It's pretty stupid, I mean, to be doing that during a Thunderlord hunt. I don't think anyone requires that sort of low-level humour, but maybe it's served to entertain him in some way, which maybe is for the better. Apparently it didn't help him all that much, because he died anyway, but... Whatever. Getting some good hits off on the face, and now we're moving on to Piers. Yeah, he's sending another ellipsis in the chat. You're perfectly welcome to do it if it's funny, but if it's not funny, maybe don't. Obviously the best situation there would have been to do an adept roll into reload. But to be completely honest, I did think that I was outside the range of that roll. I don't have much confidence in our prospects, by the way. I don't think we're going to succeed in this hunt. If we do, 
then it will be against all the odds, and it will furthermore be a great relief to me, because I have a feeling that this hunt is going to go on for quite some time, only for us to fail anyway. Like, towards the end of it, that's what I mean. That's my expectation at this point. Which is possibly pessimistic, but I would argue that it's realistic. Two deaths in under five minutes generally doesn't bode well for a hunt that is likely to take, you know, 12 minutes. Oh, is he dead? No? Okay. Moxie saved the Chinese guy's life. And apparently it saved mine too. <laughs> I did eat for Moxie for that reason. I just wasn't sure what I was supposed to be evading there. Again, I'm not used to this monster, so that... That weird pirouette behaviour... It's not clear as to what is going to hit me. And what is just the monster moving around. So obviously, every animation that a monster conducts can deal damage to a hunter, but not all end up dealing damage. That is the point. It's a matter of what is determined to be an attack. I don't know what in that animation, that flurry of animations, is an attack. So I'm just sort of finding the right time to evade. And there you go. I mean, technically... We barely avoided quest failure before that point. I took a moxie proc hit. Chinese guy took a moxie proc hit. And then he finally died. I mean, we were, de we were delaying the inevitable. Failure was guaranteed. It was a foregone conclusion. And we'll just have to see if the room will be dissolved. It, it has been dissolved. Every now and again, quest failure does result in a mass protest that usually involves people leaving the fucking room. Oh, I'm upset. I'm leaving. That sort of thing. Well, sorry Pelin, but this was not the room for you. I'm going to leave only because those two people left. And I don't really think I want to hang around in there. Vorel, help, ooh. Okay, I do realise it's a face, by the way. It's not literally a person going, ooh. -oo. But that's what's written, so that's what I've said. <laughs> but yes, this is... Are you behind on the live stream tech? Because that Zenoga hasn't been on the screen for like a minute and a half. But anyway... Bolt Reaver, Deviant's Turns, we're not doing that, the Faggot Room, oh that's what I was in, you can see I'm in the Faggot Room, G5, oh, is the, no that's not the guy who was in that previous room, Lucy doing nothing in particular, Turns, no pass, <laughs> as in if I join this room I'm not permitted to allow someone else to take a turn instead of me. Like, I have to take my own turn. If I don't, then that's apparently some sort of uh, transgression. Okay. If you say so. It always is like this, honestly. These people can never wait. It's alright. I was intending on passing on my turn anyway, so... I guess I'm not welcome. Event White Fatalis? No, not with that team. The thing is, in any decent Monster Hunter game, a Hunter rank of 200 would be enough for a person to at least attain some decent skill level, but not in this Monster Hunter game. It is too easy to Hunter rank up. You can get to Hunter rank 200 in like 100 hours of gameplay, which doesn't mean much in the context of Monster Hunter, so unfortunately... I don't trust these people. I've seen people at Hunter Rank 300 play like Hunter Rank 30s. So, yeah, I don't have much faith in that team. There's another turns room. This one is by Quea.
Well, we'll see what happens in here. I was not expecting the room to fill up that quickly. Apparently this is not Quaya's room, but Quaya happens to be the host, and you can see that X, or Cross, having taken player one slot, has decided that it is his inalienable right to post first. Very well. Very well. This is what you... It's fucking HR8. Go home. Get out. I'm not doing hiring quests. Dash and Elden in uh, Apuntate. I don't fucking know how to say that, but the point is that it's Thunderlord 1, and I'm not doing it. G5, I, I could join that. Stonefist G... Okay, let's do it. It's not like there's much else on the board that's worth wasting my time with. I'm telling you, there is not much to do here. I don't need to tell you, I think you can see it for yourself, that there is really not much going on. Oh, great, they didn't depart without me. Colour me shocked. Alright. I can carry teams. Well, I'm not... I'm not opposed to that, but if the quest that's on the board is crap, I won't do it. That's the reality. Is Stonefist weak to Thunder? Maybe not. We will find out. If Capcom had any sense... No. I was going to say, if Capcom had any sense, Stonefist would not be weak to Thunder, but he is. And I do not regret the statement, because Capcom have a very well-documented history of not having any sense. So that's alright. Stonefist G5. This is one of the first Deviant Monsters that I was actually trying to rank up back in Generations. I think even now it's probably only at level 6, level 5. I don't know if I can see. No, not from here. I can't see it from here. I would have to actually check the quest list, but I think my highest level of Stone Fist is about level 6. My intention was to upgrade the Longsword into Double Cross, which is now Generations Ultimate to the G-Rank Water Longsword that I would use for G-Rank. But I instead decided to use... what have I used instead? What's my Water Longsword in this game? Hmm. I'm actually not too sure. Oh, don't tell me they're here at the same time. Oh, it, no, it should be timed. It's probably timed. So we need to kill the Shogun Cyanotaur as quickly as possible and just hope that Stonefist doesn't appear before that point. Unfortunately, we are three-manning this, so maybe that's not going to work out, but I will do what I can. I will do what I can. My objective will be maximum DPS. I know what you're doing. I know all about how you operate, Sienatol. You're a monster that I've fought many times. No, it's not cold in Australia at the moment, but... It's, um... It has been raining a lot. It's been very humid for that reason. It should be hot, but because it's raining instead, it's just been very, very humid and muggy and unpleasant. It's great to have a death, so we've lost DPS when we need it most. Obviously, we need everyone attacking this monster now, so that Stonefist doesn't spawn to make this all the more difficult later on. I don't really want to be hitting the shell, it's not much of a, a weak point. Oh, 
I also don't want to have to be chasing the monster. Is this Rust Razor? It's fucking Rust Razor. Look at his. Oh my god, it's Rust Razor Sianator. That's why he's shooting so many water beams. No wonder. I've just fought so much Rust Razor Sianator in this game that I'm starting to forget the differences between Rust Razor and regular Sianator as far as fourth generation Molsander is concerned. Of course, I'm very familiar with Sianator in the older games, but in the newer games, I just take things like incessant and endless water beams from the anus as being some sort of fourth generation update to the monster, but no, it's actually Rust Razor Sianator. Please don't actually do... Okay. You can see I'm doing my utmost to kill this thing here, and I just hope that my efforts are not wasted. Unfortunately, Stone Fist has spawned. I've failed my corkscrew jab. Everything's just going to shit. It is possible that we will kill this Rust Razor before we get completely fucked by Stone Fist, but it is only a possibility. Oh my god. I'm not going to complain about the piercing effects because to be honest, I'd rather they shoot the monster than not shoot it. So. I don't want to be hitting the... Oh, it's dead. Thank fucking god for that. Nice work, guys. I'm going to give you guys a, a good job. Do I have a good job or only good hunt? Oh, fuck. I'm not going to take the time to send that message because I'd rather not die. Thank you for the heal. We should be in good stead to deal with the rust, or oh, excuse me, the stone fist. Now, I haven't fought stone fist in a long time. Yeah, so this is a, effectively a Daimyo Hermitor subspecies. But having said that, I do think this is still bigger than your standard stone fist. This is a fucking big one. Daimyo Hermitor normally wouldn't reach this size, but yeah, he's... I think he's big for a stone fist as well. I don't recall them being that fucking large. Oh my god. I can't actually reach his face. Yeah, the hub is open for viewers to join if they would like to. This isn't my own hub. But, of course, uh, what I will say is that I hunt with the community. If the people that I'm hunting with end up being viewers, then so be it. But yeah, I don't have a controlled environment in which I hunt, because that's not fun. Hunting with random people is actually a bit more fun. But if I have lots of viewers who want to play, then I do make a room and then we just sort of hunt together like that. Just depends on the situation, but the default environment is... I'm just out there in the community, and if hunters want to join, viewers, that is to say, want to join, they can. Because it would be weird for me to prevent that under those circumstances. So far, it doesn't look like Stone Fist is all that different to a Plum Daimyo Hermitor in how he fights, but that's just a first impression. I have no recollection of how he fights. Obviously that claw swing that he just did there is not something that Hermitor... Oh my god, I was just on the receiving end of that. For purposes of demonstration, of course, I did not intend to take a hit for any other reason. Other than to show you very clearly what I was talking about. So he's going to do the sign step, but that's not really... Oh, he's not doing it then. What's he doing? He's fallen over. It's like fucking Shen Galden. That is such a Shen Galden moment. I'll take it. That should have been a corkscrew jab moment. But I was still able to get most of that damage out. Just could have been a little bit more. Actually, no, there is no... As I understand it, there is no difference between the body and the head. Hit zone. 
No, there is. I'm thinking of Shen Gaoren now. Shen Gaoren's body and head are the same hit zone. But Daimyo Humator and Shogun Sienator do have separate hit zones between the body and the face. Okay, that's quite an attack. That's definitely unique to Stonefist. Billy has entered the hub. Why are so many people joining while the quest is in progress and then leaving anyway? What's that about? Don't join while it's in progress. If you're unwilling to wait. And that previous guy who was willing to sit there for, I don't know, seven minutes waiting? The fact that he left anyway is just downright retarded. Because it begs the question of why he waited in the first place if he was unwilling to wait any more than that. Because obviously the time has grown nearer now. Okay, that was a sonic bomb. That That's what caused it last time. I was thinking that was the case, but I didn't hear or see the sonic bomb before. But yeah, anyway, the, the time that we'll be done with the quest is closer now than it was before, and yet you've left after having just wasted, wasted your time completely, so I don't really understand it. I don't use styles. It's technically called guild style, but I don't consider myself to be a styles user. I'm just a traditional hunter. So... I will admit that I'm the person who uses guild style, but I don't think of it in those terms. And I'm not really a lance user specifically, I use all weapon types. I had a feeling I'd bounce there. Yeah. That was a pretty good hunt. I will admit that I was the only one doing anything that was remotely interesting. Those guys were just pierce bow gunning, which is the, the norm in this game when it comes to gunning, but that's alright. We got through that without any difficulty whatsoever. Why are you very confused? You're going to have to explain your confusion because I cannot rectify that issue unless I know what you're confused about. I think I might. Oh, excuse me. I, I'm... Okay, you're absolutely correct. I... This is actually Striker. I do... My aim is to use all weapon types in their traditional forms. For some reason, and I don't understand why, Capcom made the decision to change guild style. Like, guild style actually plays in a different way to what would traditionally be the Lance move set of, for example, fourth generation as displayed in 4 Ultimate. Striker style is actually the traditional form of Lance instead of Guild. I don't know why they did that, but whatever. Maybe it was a mistake. I wouldn't put it past Capcom because Capcom are pretty fucking stupid sometimes. But yeah, it would have made all the sense in the world for what is in this game Guild Lance to be Striker Lance, but it's not. It was flipped for some reason. But yeah. You're absolutely right in that that is not guild style. So your confusion was warranted. But for the most part, it, yeah, the only example where I've needed to change styles to striker in order to pursue the, the traditional way of playing has been lance. There's no other weapon type where that's necessary. What's on the board? No, you see, I'm not here to do Stone Fist EX repeatedly, but thank you anyway. I don't know if you managed to get in this room. I don't think you did. If you did, then I'm sorry, but I've moved on. Don't do drugs from Scully, okay. The HR minimum is 420. The HR maximum 
is 420, but the range has not been applied. So he's just taken an opportunity to put 420 in the room information, because apparently that's funny. Anyway, so Freightly, Pallium Grind. For what monster? He hasn't put any information in the room as to what Pallium he's grinding. There are a number of monsters that drop Palliums. You were Billy. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I just... My ideal situation is to join a room that I can stay in. So in other words, a turns room where there will always be a different quest on the board. But that room, unfortunately, is basically a guy wanting to grind Stone Fist EX. Actually, no, sorry, that was G5 that we did last. But I don't want to do Stone Fist again. Talisman Farm with Drag... I don't know how to pronounce that E. It's probably Drag Air. Or something like that. Some guy screaming about yo-yo. Maybe he's quite <laughs> enthusiastic about yo-yos. I don't know. There's not many yo-yo enthusiasts out there anymore. It's a bit of a dead skill to you know, use your yo-yo in fancy and exciting ways. But anyway. I think Yo-Yo is going to have to live without my contributions today. Iroha. Doing Wide Fatalis, no thank you. Hmm. Lilypup? Okay, Term. Oh my god. I'll join the room. Okay, never mind. As usual, turns rooms are in high demand, so usually by the time I've made an attempt to join a turns room, it's full, because I'm pretty slow with that. We've got Torka, likely a data live reference. I haven't personally come across that name outside of data live. Lulu me, okay, farming what? Thunderlords and Ogre? No, because that's high rank. And part of the entertainment, and I can't say for sure whether or not it's entertaining, is to watch me go through all the fucking rooms that are in this community. All that are on offer within the community. And, yeah, sometimes it takes a while for me to find a room. Maybe we'll just see what Drell is doing. Uh, Wenji in the chat is screaming with alacrity that I should do Elder Frost. I don't think I will. But yeah, if you can get into this room, Billy, yeah, the hub information is very standard. But my hope is that you are of a higher hunter rank than 144. If you're not, then you're not going to... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to send an O oh God in the chat. Which I'm going to hope will cause him to reconsider. And for those who are unaware, it is Event Valstrax, which is not a happy hunt. Oh, I think he's reconsidering. As he reconsidered. Sometimes just a, a simple comment like that is enough to get... Oh, never mind. This guy's using the greatsword that I was using in Generations while going through hiring. It is, of course, a greatsword that goes all the way back to first generation monster under, but... I never really bothered using it in first generation. Or second. Or third. Although I don't think it was in third, so... There you go. I'm not doing this quest, man. You can fucking walk around with that thing above your head for as long as you want. I'm not doing the quest. And I think he's worked that out. If we had a full team of really high hunter ranks, I'd do it. Because we would succeed. But I failed that quest too many times. I'm not going to half ass it.
Billy, if you're making an attempt to join the room, do let me know. Because otherwise, I'll move on. Let's see what Drell's doing now. What's on the board next? If it's the same damn quest, I'll be pretty annoyed. If it's the same quest, I'll have to make a statement. In the form of me leaving the room. <laughs> Okay, Teostra again. Very well. What would I like to use? Maybe, uh, yeah, sword and shield, let's do it. That's right, I made a new sword and shield set and I never showed you guys. Check this out, this is my new sword and shield set. It's so funny, I was playing this game with my friend that I got into Monster Hunter. This is really the only legitimate Monster Hunter game that he's played, and we play together in every now and again. And while I was with him, he was using one of the armor sets that I built for him. And I looked at it, it's exactly this set, not the same armor pieces, but the exact same skills, and I looked at it and I, I went, I want that, <laughs> I prefer that to my current Sword and Shield set. Particularly because I'd be able to use this set in conjunction with the old Fatalis sword, because I'm not really happy with the Alatrion sword and shield, and my previous sword and shield armor set did not have sharpness plus one or plus two, and obviously having sharpness plus one or two would not really work well with the Alatrion sword and shield because that's already at a max sharpness level, so yeah. Let's use this. This will work very well. I think it's fully upgraded, it should be. What's my defense? My defense here is a lot better than my previous set, if you can remember. My previous set was sitting at like... 720 defense, it was really bad. It was really bad. I've got about 150 more defense points now than what I had before. I'm just going to make sure that all the pieces are fully upgraded. More out of interest than anything else. Brilliant. I am a happy fellow. I think Toon Billy has departed the chat, which I love, you know. If you're still here, Billy, then that's great, but... If you're making efforts to join my room... I need to know if you're gonna head off. Because otherwise I'm going to be expecting you to join, only to eventually have to come to the realization that you've left without announcing your departure. And I can only assume that you did leave because I, I was either insufficiently entertaining or B, you were unable to hunt with me in the first instance, even though I expressed my regret that that couldn't happen at that time. Sometimes you gotta nail people in place to keep them watching. That's one thing that I've learned as a Twitch streamer. Let's do this, says Drail. Yeah, take it easy, man. I'm already ready up. I don't need your encouragement. I do take it like that. I don't take it as a positive comment. Whenever someone says, let's do this in this community, it's not them trying to inspire the team to do their best. It's them saying, ready up right now, I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's what it means. So actually, I was going to say, I'm not going to mine because I don't need anything, but I don't have any pickaxes anyway. So there you go. It is what it is. I'm just going to break my legs as I fall here. And yeah, I'm... This is not the first time that I've used this set. But I've probably only used it once or twice before this point, and I will mention that it hasn't been used on camera. So, this should be quite good. There is a screaming child outside. I am of the mind to go out there and give them something to scream about. And unfortunately, the fire has caught me there. My intention was to avoid it. And that is not what eventuated. I mustn't have very good fire defense. Oh, it's zero. Remember last time I checked? I was like, what's my fire defense? I was using a totally different armor set, and it was exactly the same. Zero. 
which is actually technically fine. It's better to have zero than negative 15, 20, etc. It really is an improvement upon the norm. That guy's already dead. The hunt just started, my friend, but sure. I have been blasted. You do not want to be hit by this monster while blasted. That's not going to be very nice at all. Oh. Better look out. He might be doing some jumping at... Okay. Sometimes when he does his jumping... He does it twice in a row, which can be really problematic. And he may have been doing that, but I did flinch him out of whatever he was doing, so that was good. Uh, Seltus is in trouble. Like, really in trouble. Seltus has been supported. I'm not, I'm between a, a rock wall and a Teostra. And it was very confusing. I wasn't sure <laughs> what course of action I could take without being hurt. Whoa! Actually, I shouldn't be surprised. The monster is flashed. You don't flash Teostra. It's never a good idea. It's never been a good idea. But even after that, whoever conducted the flash bomb maneuver has probably not realized that it's not in any way helpful to flash bomb a Teostra. This is my constant eternal complaint with the Monster Hunter community. It is the fact that they cannot learn even when they are very clearly shown that what they're doing is detrimental to the hunt. They've just got this idea in their head that it helps, and even if they're very clearly shown that it doesn't help, they will continue to do it. Which is very annoying. It's a long story, but yeah, it's fairly normal. The more I can hit this head, the better. Someone has dropped a trap. That is the level of finesse that we're dealing with here. As soon as you've got someone on the team who's dropping a fucking trap during an Elder Dragon hunt, you basically have a an idea of what sort of experience you're dealing with here. It's very, very basic. I'm really impressed by... Well, not impressed, but I'm surprised that... The hitbox for those explosions are actually pretty forgiving. The hitboxes for those explosions are forgiving. See, I want to hit that head, but I just can't get there. Not reliably. Why isn't the trap working? What the fuck's going on? Is the game glitching out? Yeah. This game is so fucking glitchy. You should sell it. It's not worth playing. Very bad. Oh, we're actually almost an hour through. This has been a much faster hour than the previous hour that I recorded, actually. It's been way faster. I'm obviously referring to how it feels. I can't say how it would have been to watch, but... Oh, there you go. There's a fucking head flinch. Now I can sword dance if I'm not getting flinched endlessly. Oh, God. Is that broken horns already? Oh, my God. This is not even an Elder Dragon. This is just a pushover. This is a pathetic monster that's sort of pretending to be an Elder Dragon. It's a, it's a pretender. Not a pretender, an imposter. I was in this bad habit when I was younger of using the word pretender to refer to a person who pretends, but it's actually not really what that word means. 
That word more relates to vying for a position. But not even vying for it, more like next in line to receive a position, or to be inducted sort of thing. That, that's more or less the meaning of it. But it could possibly be used as one who pretends. I just don't think it's a smart usage of the word. I shouldn't be too aggressive with Teostra like that. Butting heads almost literally. It's not a good idea. Drell says, nice work. Yeah. <laughs> Nice work, and then the Chinese guy leaves the room. That was weird. It doesn't even say that he abandoned the quest or anything like that, it just says he left the hub. I guess technically, because the quest is over, he can't abandon or exit. So it just says that he left the room. I'd never seen that before. Okay, that visual effect is annoying, so I'm going to stay away from it. But yeah, I didn't realise that if you disconnect at the end of a hunt, it doesn't give a message saying that the person's left the quest, because technically it's not possible to leave the quest, therefore there is no possibility of a message being sent saying that the person's left anyway. Exciting as that is, um, yeah, now you know. That's what's going on around here. Quest complete. Yeah. I might do one more hunt. Again, this is just the second part of the VOD, so it doesn't need to be a full length live stream or anything like that. What kind of room is this again? This isn't a turns room, is it? No, it's just a recruiting room. I do love those viewers who don't watch you unless they can play with you. I love that. I love it when people set these preconditions upon their viewership. It's great. I love that. Like the only way I could have kept that person I feel is if I got on my hands and knees and spread my anus to them. I feel like that's all I could have done. Because I did try to get them in the room with me, but no. Wasn't fast enough, so they're gone. Good thing their viewership isn't worth all that much. Otherwise, you know, I guess I'd be upset or something. But I've just watched it happen too many times over a long period of time to just ignore it. It's actually quite bizarre. What was the quest again? Fuck. It's the typical Doom Link checks the quest board and doesn't internalize the... Okay. Doesn't internalize what he's seen. It would help to do that, I think. It really would. Okay. Hmm... I don't think I want to do that. How about hunting one? I will be the rare hunting horn user. I'll bring attack large. That would be appropriate. We've got Saitama in the room. Most likely the character, not the region in Japan. I don't know if Saitama is a city or a prefecture. I actually don't know. I think it's a prefecture. 
May as well deal some damage while I'm here. I've just arrived at the area right in front of the phase. This should play both self-improvement songs in one go. It has done so. Help. Fucking tremor. And this is a horn that has different songs to almost all the other horns that I have, but there's no point checking now because I can't play any damn songs. I'm snow blighted. Stop fucking moving the camera over there. I know why you're doing that, but I don't intend to do that, so stop. <laughs> okay, so... Those are the songs. Okay. I'll try to keep that in mind. And then this should be... Attack up. I will stay out of the way of the monster so that I may play this song in peace. And after that, we will move on to Finale, I think. Unless, no, we'll do Negate Knockback, which should be this. And then we'll do Finale. I don't think Negate Knockback, knockback has... Yeah, it's immune to knockbacks, so... And there's no bonus to the length of time that that can take place for. So we will Finale that. Is there a bonus to that? I don't know if there's a bonus to this. Nope. There's a singular effect with one level of effectiveness. I'd like to get a KO, but I'm not expecting it. I do have Knockout King on this set, but I don't often get KOs with Hunting Horn. I'm usually more focused on playing songs than hitting the head of the monster. Is that a sleep? No. The way the monster suddenly changed what it was doing made me think that a sleep was imminent. I'll stop that. He's gone right up to the entrance to the next area. But he's not meaning to leave, he's just... He's happened to move there. Just means that I have to be careful so as not to accidentally leave. Is he limping already? Sometimes it's hard to see... The difference between a limp and just him lumbering. The way he moves, I actually think that was a regular leaving the area animation. I don't think that was a limb. It could have been, but I just know that the way he moves normally does look a bit like a limb. We could be doing it. I'm definitely... Okay, he was limping. <laughs> that was some fucking heavy damage. This is G-rank, right? Yeah, it is. Just a standard... Gamoth. Non-hyper. Utterly destroyed by the team. It has become very dark, <laughs> as you can see. Can you even see me in the corner here? Well, there you go. I've recorded an extra hour for that VOD. Had a decent amount of fun. Achieved very little in terms of viewership, but... That's as far as Twitch is concerned. I can't speak for YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, they've just done... A, they've um, now actioned an update that essentially makes dislikes totally pointless. You don't have any dislikes shown on videos. It is just an entirely 
pathetic maneuver on the part of YouTube. There is absolutely no justification for it. I understand why. And I can tell you that I have personally been the victim of people just disliking my videos because I've pissed them off and they want to try to get back at me in some way. I've, I've actually been on the receiving end of why dislikes can be a bad thing, but it's, you know, there are things in life that don't go your way. The solution is not to strike it from life entirely, just because you've got the power to remove the ability to remove dislikes. Let me rephrase that, just because you've got the power to remove dislikes from your platform does not mean that you should do that, because in the end, dislikes do serve a purpose. They always have, and they always, well, I guess they won't continue to serve a purpose, because that's been, that's now been sucked out of the platform by a very irresponsible YouTube. And they've always been irresponsible. They, they couldn't make a decent video sharing platform if they, they were smacked over the back of the head with a, an exact step-by-step -step guide of how to make the perfect video sharing platform. But... Yeah, that, that move is so inexplicable that I, uh, words fail, really. Um, and also entirely indefensible. I don't know why they've decided to do it. It has been talked about for a while, like maybe two years now, but I didn't think they'd end up doing it, but they did it. And so now you can only see likes, no dislikes. So there you go. That's the end of that, I suppose. It doesn't surprise me because, of course, you used to be able to see thumbs down on comments on YouTube, but that was removed like a long time ago. Like nine or ten years ago, they removed that. I remember it. I remember the day they removed it and I was confused. I was like, why? Of course, you couldn't always see, you couldn't always rate people's comments. There was a time before that, and then when you could thumbs up and thumbs down comments, it was great. You could agree or disagree, but then apparently if you disagreed, that wasn't shown to anyone, so there was no point anymore to dislike a comment. And if something had been disliked enough, it would automatically be hidden from view which was a nice feature that no longer exists. Um, yeah. What I mean to say is that this is not entirely unusual for YouTube to be doing, but it is stupid, and I don't truly understand it. Anyway, um, yeah, I just thought I'd randomly say that. That's a point being made at the end of a live stream, which almost no one will reach, they will not watch the VOD to this point, and I don't think barely anyone's watching live. So, there you go. I've made my point, and it's on the record, but not substantially so. I do thank you all for watching, that is the end of this particular VOD. I will see you next time I'm recording live. I will indeed record tomorrow, but I don't know what game I will record. It will either be Twilight Princess or Monster Hunter. I don't know. I will have to see how I feel tomorrow. If I'm not in the mood to record Twilight Princess, then I simply will not record it. That is a pretty sensible way to approach it. I will see you all next time, and for the moment, I bid you all farewell. Bye-bye.